Hello, I am the Cerebral Palsy Vigilante Zachary Tunnell, back with part two of my Cerebral Palsy Fitness Roundtable discussion with personal trainer Daryl Perry and former St. Thomas More college football player Brandon Ramey. Remember, Daryl, Brandon, and I all live active lifestyles despite having cerebral palsy. I do know the audio on the following is low. So at this time, I invite you to turn up both the volume on the YouTube video and the volume on your chosen device. Or turn on the closed captioning. Thank you. That, you know, it's, it's, it's good, and, and that is one thing that sports can provide, yes, it, it is an outlet, it is, you know, physical, and this is, it is adaptive, but it teaches you these skills that, I mean, as you become an adult, and, and that's the thing that the three of us in here is, like, we're all um, highly functioning, late 20s, early 30s guys, and if you're a parent of a child with CD, I mean, honestly, if you've got that, that three or four pound baby, what is their life going to be like? Like you said, every case of CP is different, but I mean, you know, that's the other thing with athletics is it teaches you that this, athletics will remember to be the discipline and the, the, the skills that you can do out that. When I was first, I got my first commenter, I, I did that first walk where I measured how long. Like, I was gassed after four and a, a third mile. Uh, now I'm almost up to nine miles because it's been two years, and but I've been working up for it. And it builds character rather than say, oh, I want to do a half marathon. That's 13.1 miles. I can barely do a quarter of that. I give up. I, you know, you work harder at it. No yeah, I mean, that's good. Cool. You know, we each start out physically as, you know, our weakest self. You know, we all start at a different, a different starting point. Just as you go on, like, like Zach said, he was gas and he put it a mile. He didn't just quit, he just kept going and adding distance to that. That's how you get better. I think that's one thing that. They all put on it is don't be afraid to fail. Yeah, you might put on that barbell on your chest. But you know what? If you keep going and going and going, eventually you'll get that up. And you know what? That is actually one of the best things in the world. Something physically that you would fail at time and time again, but you work at it and you achieve it. It's it's so it's probably the best feeling in the world that I've ever had. I know that Dale, and Dale, that you know, family up for that good day. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, keeping keeping things into, uh, I mean, with the athletics, it, it, it is the it's that overcoming the psychological hurdle, and you know, I, you know, for some reason, I never, I've always wanted to be able to run distances. To the point where, you know, I can get myself to, I mean, it, it, to, to a point where I can run three, some three, three and five miles, but literally after that, I mean, my knee starts, uh, inflammation starts happening, my ankles are, are bothering me, and that's just like while I'm running. I'm not even going to talk about what happens after you're done, you sit down, and you know, it's out of the But, you know, it, it was always you have to try getting up again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and hopefully you're not doing that in front of other people because they just, like, they don't know what's going on. Yeah. But, you know, so that's been, and I think that's the other thing too, because you got to look at this, like, in some cases, there is going to be physical limitations that you can't, and I know they haven't seen people in hearing that, because I mean, I'm, you're, I, I think by nature, you're, you're close to like, don't tell me what I'm going to do, I'll do what I can't do, I'm going to do it. Um, I will tell you, for me, like once I started doing credit training long distances, and this is going back to college, I wound up in, in uh, over at, actually back over at Children's Hospital because I thought I really, really jacked up my knee. 
So, you know, sometimes when you want to push through, you can, but I will say that when I started getting into initially uh, for 5Ks and stuff like that, I did exactly what was out there. I started really, really slow. I was looking at the distance I was going. I was taking notes on how I felt. And gradually was, was adding to that. And, you know, the other thing, and uh, races are good for this, is get a bunch of, get people around you. And I mean, you've got somebody here that's done team sports. You've got somebody that's gone through multiple 5Ks and said people doing the, the races with them. You know, people are going to support you. And, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, um, you know, and, 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 you know, growing up, I know that I like to stay kind of to myself. And then eventually I started kind of branching out. And, you know, that's one thing with this thing. You, you think that everybody's constantly looking at people, and honestly, initially, they probably are. But, you know, it's kind of like what we tell our, our kids, which is, don't worry about what, what everybody else thinks of you because chances are they're more worried about how everybody's thinking about them. So and it's the same with this and, and what I found, um, you know, it's not with people in sports, I found it with, with getting into uh, groups that exercise is just, you know what, work as hard as you can, do the most that you can, don't try to be a hero, you will get better and people are going to rally around you. I mean, it's really a neat thing to see when, when it happens. So, 